Hello there, so this is my uh, kind of spare time project of the moment, which is to build a little countdown clock um, using parts that I had lying around. So it's put inside a dental parts container that I just happened to found, um, and it's using an Arduino because it's what I happen to have lying around, uh, an LDR, uh, which I'll explain in a second, and a uh, random LCD. Um, so uh, there's no real time clock in this, and so one of the things about it is you need to set it every time you turn it on, and you'll notice there are no buttons on this. Um, and uh, so it's uh, going to be a little bit fiddly without any buttons, so what I decided to do was to make a website here which simply uh, flashes um, the appropriate um, the appropriate data at the LDR which um, the Arduino is monitoring and that is used to uh, set the time. Um, this is nice because it doesn't require any particular software on the computer um, which is always a bonus, so if I move this uh, over the screen there um, and then start the flashing and then uh, you'll see that it notices the flashing um, and indeed starts to uh, receive the data which takes forever. I'm afraid the uh, data transfer rate is 5 bits a second, not bytes a second, bits. Uh, so that entire time it just took there it was to transfer 64, bytes of, uh, 64 bits of data um, and uh, there's the countdown um, which uh, is counting down to a time in about an hour um, at the moment, uh, but it will count down in weeks and days when the when the time that it's counting down to is far enough in the future. So there you go. Uh, that's my uh, that's my little project. Um, um, yeah. Anyway, that'll do. Um,